so I showed up to the job site to see how they're doing on the hole here. Looks like they hit some rock down there. But they're just getting going. So this is going to be the big boy with a gun rim attached. So what we'll do is we're going to get the hatch right here and they'll do a room addition over the hatch so when he walks out this door right here uh, he'll be in a safe room and then he'll go down the stairs into the bunker. That's Kalechi right there. You can see at the rate it digs. It's not too bad. It's not like dirt. He can use that on his road scanning. Huh? I mean, you could. You could make trails and stuff like that on the property with it. at the Atlas factory in uh, Texas. And as you can tell, a couple of our welders well are in the sleeves and everything. But this is our uh, main plant. We have three plants here. Come on, guys. Um, but we make bomb shelters here, of course. That's why we get so many views on YouTube. But this is our uh, one of our three Texas plants. But... Um, Thought I'd just give you an oversight real quick. This is uh, the plant number two that's behind Atlas, but they're just making hatches and mudrooms over here right now. They also do all the sandblasting, but uh, they're making 30 hatches for me right now. That is, those are big boys right there, okay? Um, that one is for uh, one guy and that one's for another guy, but those are the big boys all right there.
so not only is there a crane, these three trucks right here, these are just for the counterweights. To set a bunker that big right there, which weighs about 65,000 pounds, we brought in a 240 ton crane and a lot of counterweights. There he is, backing through the trees. So the big boy weighs how much? 57.5. 57.5. Okay. Make sure that all those are on the same length. All right, here we go. We're going to take it back up again. We're going to move the shelter six inches towards the house. All right, so we got the second truck there. We're going to take out the mud room. here and a staircase so they can walk out of this door right here and have a little room added on and then enter into the bunker and this will uh, have a secret passage from inside the house ah, the sun's coming out it's getting pretty out So this is the truck uh, we do the install with. We got a Miller Welby thing on there. But uh, we don't have any signs or any labels on our trucks. The only thing we have is uh, back the blue because Atlas supports our local police. hang the mudroom now. and do the stairs after that and then we'll do the generator pop last. So we got a Fort Knox vault door on there. That 
big holes the escape tunnel. Got to turn it around. Gonna go ahead and set it on the ground, clean it up a little bit, check all the welds first, then we'll put it together. underneath here. You always got to put legs under this corner right here too because otherwise you'll put all the torque on those bolts right there so by putting a leg right here you take all the pressure off the all the shearing weight off those bolts and those welds right there. spider wrenches to align everything it makes it easier to move the material comes a generator pod. Get it right in the middle, so we're using a plate clamp so we can lift it. It doesn't have lifting eyes on it, so we're going to use a plate clamp up higher. Right there. There you go. All righty. The other one. Look at that. That's nice. That's damn near level. <laughs> All right, there goes the last piece, the escape tunnel.
Get that dirt off. There you go, thank you. Now this will bolt on and we'll weld it from the inside. Get two spuds in there. There you go. It's like changing a tire in NASCAR. There you go. Those three quarter inch? Yeah, well, this is going fast. I'm, see how fast y'all can bolt it together. That's cool. See, that's easy. You got the impact? We still got the hatch and the uh, air pipes today. So it's five o'clock now, and uh, we're done with the crane. But it took us four hours to assemble everything. We started at one o'clock, and uh, so four hours to put it all together. It's not too bad. Keep my we had to keep putting legs underneath those uh, gun room, the generator room, and the mud room, and all that stuff. Okay, I've been gone for a couple days, but I can see my guys. I put all the legs under the bunker and anchoring it down. So let's go check it out really close. See, they put legs down there underneath it. See, those are legs. Put legs, all uh, I-beam legs. They had to anchor it down. So this thing's got like a hundred three-quarter inch wedge anchors holding it down. You don't want them to ever float in case there's water. You won't have water in this Oklahoma caliche though. And then the gum room, same thing. You put six legs underneath that. Welded out the escape tunnel. All right, guys, that's the end of uh, episode one on installing this big boy with a gun room. Now, next step is we're going to do the plumbing electrical, back, start backfilling and hook up the air pipe. So, guys, make sure you like and subscribe and look for episode two of installing this big boy with the gun room.